Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, white uh, semicircle uh, confined in a big uh, circle as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, these points uh, P and O are uh, their centers and uh, C, D is the chord and moreover this uh, line segment A, P is uh, 8 units whereas uh, this uh, line segment uh, QB is 48 uh, units and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and make an observation since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, green shaded region. So therefore we can see the area of this uh, green shaded region is equal to the area of this uh, big circle minus uh, the area of this uh, white uh, semicircle as you can see in this uh, equation. So therefore our task is to calculate the area of uh, this uh, big circle as well as uh, the area of this uh, white uh, semicircle. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and connect uh, these points P and uh, Q as you can see in this uh, diagram. And we can see that this uh, line segment uh, PQ is the radius uh, of this uh, white semicircle. So let me go ahead and represent this uh, radius of this uh, white semicircle by this uh, lowercase uh, r. And now we can see that uh, this uh, CP and uh, this uh, PD are also the radii of the very same uh, white semicircle. And now our task is to find the value of this uh, radius uh, lowercase r. And now we can see that this uh, distance uh, PQ is uh, lowercase r and this distance uh, QB is 48. So therefore uh, this uh, distance uh, PB is going to be R plus uh, 48. So I can write R plus uh, 48 as you can see in this uh, simple uh, diagram. And now let's recall the intersecting uh, chords uh, theorem. According to this theorem, if two chords intersect in a circle, then the product of the measures of the segments of the chords are equal, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And here we can see that our AC and BD are our two chords that intersect each other. Then the product of these two segments A times B is going to be equal to C times D as you can see in this uh, equation. So therefore in our case uh, this uh, AB and CD are these two intersecting chords and let me go ahead and label uh, this uh, segment as an A, this segment as a B, this segment as C and this segment uh, as D. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation where our A is R, B is R as well. So therefore I can write uh, R times R equals to, in our case our C is 8 and D is R plus 48. So therefore I can write 8 times R plus 48. So let's go ahead and multiply r times r is going to give us r square equals to let's go ahead and distribute this thing that is going to give us 8r plus 384. Now let's go ahead and move everything on the left hand side and now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by grouping and factoring. And now let's focus on this number 384 and here I have copied it down. Now we can see that this uh, 384 could be broken down to 4 and then 4 and 24. So therefore 384 could be written as 16 times 24. 
And now let's go ahead and focus on this uh, middle part, uh, negative 8R. We can tweak this one as a negative 24R plus uh, 16R, as you can see in this uh, next equation. And here we can see that uh, R is in common between first two terms. And for these last two terms, positive 16 is in common. So let's go ahead and factor R outside. So R minus 24. Here I'm going to factor out positive 16. We got R minus 24 equal to 0. And now we can see that R minus 24, they are in common. So therefore, we got R minus 24 times R plus 16 equals to 0. Let's go ahead and separate them. We got R minus 24 equal to 0. And the other one is going to be R plus 16 equal to 0. For this first equation, R is going to be equal to positive 24. And for this uh, next equation, R is going to be negative 16. Now we can see that R equals to negative 16 is uh, not possible because the distance cannot be negative. So therefore, we are going to reject this R equal to negative 16 value and we are going to accept uh, R equals to 24 value. So thus the radius of this white semicircle turns out to be 24. And now let's focus on this uh, big uh, circle. Its uh, diameter AB is going to be equal to the sum of uh, this uh, AP that is 8, this uh, PQ segment uh, which is 24, and finally this uh, line segment uh, QB which is uh, 48. So therefore, the diameter for this uh, circle turns out to be 80. So therefore, the radius for this big circle is going to be half of this diameter that is going to be 40 units. So therefore, the radius of this uh, big circle turns out to be 40. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, big circle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula, area equal to pi r square. In our case, our radius is 40. So therefore, the area of this uh, big circle is going to be pi times uh, 40 whole square. Let's go ahead and simplify. That is going to give us uh, 1600 pi. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, white uh, semicircle whose radius is uh, 24. So therefore, this is going to be pi times uh, 24 whole square and we are going to divide this one by 2 since we are dealing with the semicircle. And if we simplify this one, uh, the area of this uh, white semicircle turns out to be 288 pi. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and plug it in uh, these values in this uh, equation to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region. So therefore, let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So this is going to be 16 uh, 100 pi minus 288 pi and that is going to be equal to 1312 pi. So thus the area of this green shaded region turns out to be 1312 pi square units and that is going to be approximately equal to 4121.8 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.